Hey guys, Beast here. In this video, I'll show you the best recording settings in OBS. So you'd be able to have the best quality for your videos. If you like the quality of this video, this then it's perfect. Actually, I'm teaching you using these settings right now. So what you see is what you get. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Open your OBS. Go to settings. You might be wondering why mine is dark and yours is white. That's because I put the theme in dark right here. You probably have it on default, so just choose what you prefer. Now let's skip over the stream tab and get right into the output tab as this tutorial is about recording settings. Now you want the output mode set to advanced. Head over to recording, make sure the type is standard. And here is where your videos are going to be saved. Just choose where do you want to save your videos. Make sure you are saving your videos where there is enough space. For me, I made a folder called My Videos on the D-Desk as it has more than 500 empty gigabytes. Make sure the recording format is MP4 as it is the most compatible format for a lot of platforms and editing softwares. As for the encoder, you want to select the X264 because it gives you the best quality. Rate control, make sure to choose CRF, this will give you the quality. Now the CRF, you need to choose a number. What you need to know is the lower the number, the better. I put it at 10. For you, you might need to play with it a bit because everyone has a different computer specs, but I don't think you need to make it lower than eight. If you're not sure what to do, just put it at 10 or 12. Now the keyframes interval, just set it at two. And now let's go to the CPU usage present. It is very important. What you need to know is, the faster it is, the lower the quality, and the slower it is, the better the quality. But this is very dangerous to play with. You don't want to burn out your CPU, so leave it as it is. You might have it at faster or very fast, which will still give you a very good quality. You might even have it at ultra fast, which is lower quality, but still, if you don't understand what you're doing, just don't. <laughs> For the, pro for the profile, just set it to main, make sure the VFR is unchecked, and for the X264 options, we're gonna have open CL equals true. You can just copy what I have here, which will help the CPU encode the recording. Now over to the audio, I set it up to 320, and the reason behind it is because I'm just doing a local recording, and there is no need to downscale it, as we are looking for the best audio quality. Now go to the audio tab, make sure that the sample rate is the same as your mic. And if you don't know what is your mic rate, just head over to the speaker icon here, right click it, choose recording devices, right click your mic that you are using, go to properties, then advanced, and here you can find your default format. So as you can see, for me I use 48k, make sure yours matches as well. For channels, I keep at stereo. Desktop audio device, I keep it at default. So this will just be your actual music or game or if you have Skype open or whatever you have. Mic audio device, I choose my Razer. You can of course choose yours. If you have Blue Yeti or whatever you have. Now head over to the video tab. Here is the, the resolution as we are making the best recording settings, so we want to leave it at 1080p, both of them for a full HD. Now for the downscale filter, choose the third option, whatever it is, <laughs> I, the, this third option here, and I say that because it is the best option out of the three. And here is the FPS, since we are making the best quality, so I put it at 60 FPS, and this is actually the YouTube standard nowadays. Now for the hotkeys, you can set hotkeys as you like. If you want a key to start recording, a key to end recording, mute and unmute the mic and so on. Each one has, has his own preferences. For me, I just don't set up any keys for my recording, but if you, if you want, you can, of course. Now the advanced tab, I keep the process priority above normal and I keep my rendered at direct 3D 11. If you do have an AMD graphics card, you might want to change that to OpenGL. Now the color format NV12, color space 709 and color range at full and the reason I do that so I can get the best colors and quality for my videos. 
and you can copy the rest of my settings I'm not gonna be changing anything basically just keep them at default and that's it now you can start recording an epic quality videos and share your awesome videos with the world if you found it helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up and if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions thanks for watching and see you in the next video see ya